Hey there, welcome back to our channel. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create and send a WhatsApp status update using your Android device. Whether you want to share a written message, a photo, or a voice recording, WhatsApp status is a great way to keep your friends and family updated. Let's get started. Step 1. Open WhatsApp. The first step is to open WhatsApp on your Android device. Make sure you're logged into the correct account before proceeding. Step 2. Click on Status. Once you're logged in, click on the Status tab located at the bottom of the screen. This will take you to the Status section of WhatsApp. Step 3. Compose a written status update. To create a written status update, click on the text icon located at the bottom of the screen. This will open a text box where you can type your message. Step 4. Add emoji or GIFs. If you'd like to add some personality to your status update, click on the emoji icons located at the bottom of the screen. This will open a selection of emojis and GIFs that you can add to your update. Step 5. Pick a font and background color. To customize your written status update, click on the T icon to pick a font and the color icon to pick a background color. Step 6. Record a voice status update. To record a voice status update, click on the voice icon and hold it down while you speak. When you're finished, release the icon to end the recording. As step 7, take or record a photo, video, or GIF. To create a visual status update, click on the camera or my status icon to take or record a photo, video, or GIF. You can also choose media from your phone's gallery. Step 8. Select your status contacts and tap Done. Once you've created your status update, select the contacts you'd like to share it with and tap Done. You can also choose to share your status with all of your contacts. Step 9. Tap Send. Finally, tap Send to share your WhatsApp status update with your selected contacts. And that's it. You've successfully created and sent a WhatsApp status update using your Android device. We hope this tutorial has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tech tutorials.